Louisiana Cider Reviews, Wicked Grove Hard Cider, Wicked Good Elderflower. I bought this at Aldi, and this is produced in Vermont. And this has been on the market apparently since 2011, same time that um, Angry Orchard hit the market. All right. Produced by Wicked Grove Cidery, Exchange Street, Middlebury, Vermont. I checked Middlebury, Vermont for cideries. The only one, the only one listed was was um, Woodchuck Cider. Hard cider, natural flavors, sulfites to preserve freshness, lightly carbonated. It's only five percent. So as a wine, technically a wine, it falls under the Food and Drug Administration. So it has to produce. Pro, pro, provide, can't say it, provide nutritional information. And that little, e, that evil apple is a trademark, it says. A little sweet, a little tart, and wicked good. 1321 Exchange Street, Middlebury, Vermont, 057. Five, three. Naturally gluten free, of course, it's from apples, not wheat. <clears throat> there is one other video review for it, okay? So we have natural flavors, but no coloring added, I can see. It's just a kind of a slight yellowish tint from the apples. And it's similar to um, like a Pinot Grigio wine. It smells like a strange herb. <laughs> Maybe uh, and a wine underneath, a, 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 a mild wine underneath. So let's go with the taste. So smell is so-so, but I'm, I'm not used to the elderflower, okay? I don't have experience with that spice. Like they say on the label, a little sweet, a little tart. It's probably a little bit more than just a little sweet. Three and a half out of five sugar cubes. Zero bitterness. Now tartness. Yeah, it's probably two out of five warheads. Medium bodied with a crisp, relatively crisp finish. Not as much as their their mainline version, the crisp apple. That's shown on the Aldi website. This is not listed on the Aldi website, okay? But I know it's there because I bought it there. <laughs> and I think this is probably just sold through Aldi. I don't think it's available anywhere else, but I could be wrong, but I don't think it is. Because they tend to carry mostly private labels. Not only private label. They do have some, like Learn is Gruna Beer, which is owned by Carlsberg. And that sold all over Europe, in and out, inside and outside of Aldi. But Aldi got the exclusive contract for Vernis Gruna for the USA. So I guess it's a private label for the USA in a sense. Okay. Prickly carbonation. Well, I'm not a cider person, okay? I've reviewed a few of these, and they're fine. My daughter brought some over one time and we did a number of them and I mean it was okay but um I'm starting to like them a little bit more <clears throat> cider is another term for apple juice so hard cider is basically alcoholic apple juice And these are highly filtered. Can you get some that are unfiltered? I'm pretty sure you can. You can get unfiltered apple juice. Um, not uh, too exotic in the flavor, really. The aroma was, but the flavor is just mainly apple juice with a little side spice. So 
Is it much different than the crisp apple? I don't think it is. I wouldn't go hunt, hunting this down. I just ran. I just, it was just there when I was in Aldi for other purposes, so I bought it. But anyway, it's pleasant. Is it on par with like your um, the Angry Orchard, a much Angry Orchard, a much bigger brand? I think they're comparable, and I think that's what they're trying to be. It's sort of like their knockoff, you know, Angry Orchard, Wicked Grove, you know. But it makes me want to try the uh, wood chuck and see if those are similar to these. But who knows when I'd ever, if or when I'll ever get to those. So score, I think it's a good product. I'll get give it 86 out of 100. 8.6 out of 10, a good hard cider. And that's about all I have to say about it. And I'm going to say laissez les bon. End this review. I'm going to end this review by saying laissez les bon temps relay. And y'all go to Middlebury, Vermont and take a cidery tour.